I was out of action a little bit recently because my mouse was out for RMA because it was a bit defective on the click. Seems to be an issue with the Razor Viper, which is an amazing mouse that I really recommend. It's how I do a lot of the stuff I do. And if you want to order it with my Amazon affiliate link, that's in the description. Wink wink. Great mouse, but it seems to easily develop pre-travel on the click. So yeah, that's the second time now I've had to get it already made. But I've got it back, have had it back for a while. But while I was out of action, I spent some time looking around again. That's what I do. Just looking around and thinking. And I realised that I haven't done any of the historical battles since Nagashino last year. First show into a video I put up in five years nearly. And I can do something similar with all of these. Trying to find a different way to play. A more effective way to play than what's intended. And with Kawana Kajima, I think I have exactly that. This is the fight with Kenshin against Shingen. The fourth of the five battles that they fought over the span of a decade. And this was the most notable one. Really heavy losses on both sides. And tactically interesting. And also this is the one where Shingen and Kenshin met for one-on-one -on -one combat, which is really rare. That's something you only really hear about in Three Kingdoms literature in China. But that actually happened in real fucking life in Japan with Shingen and Kenshin. I think Kenshin stormed the castle that Shingen was in after winning the fight and tried to strike him and then Shingen parried it with his steel war fan and then he was relieved by one of his retainers and then they broke up and met for a fifth and final time in Kawana Kajima in I think 1563 or 64 because these fights, these battles, these skirmishes spanned a decade over here but this is the most Notable one, 1561, the fourth one, the greatest of five battles between legendary rivals Takeda Shingen and Yusugi Kenshin. Despite heavy losses on both sides, there was no decisive victor and the feud remained unresolved. They both lost, I think, two thirds. Two thirds casualties, really bad. These historical battles are interesting because they're consistent and repeatable scenarios, so you can use them as a metric, so you can, all, you can all do what I do here and see how well you perform and try and improve on it. Alright, so we deploy in the planes, they hold the bank, they also come through the mountain pass to flank, and there's a castle. So we have to deal with Shingen to the front on the river, and also anticipate the flankers. For eight years, and three battles, Uesugi Kenshin struggled against Takeda Shingen. They met for the fourth time on the Hachimambara Plain in Kawanakajima. Kawanakajima. Reliable spies had informed Uesugi Kenshin of movement within the Takeda Castle during the night before the battle. Takeda Shingen split his army in two, believing this to be a secret. He would lead one third of his men down onto the plain during the night. The remainder, under the command of his leading general, were to climb Mount Saijo, where the Uesugi were camped, to catch them unawares and drive them down onto the plain and onto the waiting spears of Takeda's men. Lord Uesugi, as always, proved to be Takeda Shingen's equal. During the night, he silently marched onto the plain. He now had the advantage as he moved against the unsuspecting Takeda army. With Takeda Shingen's army divided and superior Uesugi numbers on the plain, victory for Uesugi Kenshin was now a clear possibility. And there's Kenshin, the dragon of Echigo, facing down the tiger of Kai. Here's the twist. We are not going to use any infantry for this one. They are surplus to requirements. So we're going to plonk all of these guys in the trees. 
And we're going to just bring... Come on. Everything around here. So there's what we have to deal with. A lot of Boashigaru in front of us. They have five units of Boashigaru at the front. A Yari, a Katana, and a Yari. And then over here, they've got a lot of cavalry. Here is the Takeda cavalry coming. Yep, so they'll be here in a minute. But they n needn't necessarily take the fight to us. Because they are scripted. This is a heavily scripted fight. A heavily tactical fight. And if you know what the AI is going to do and what the triggers are, you can really manipulate the fuck out of this fight. So what I'm going to do is try and come around the flank here. So I'm going to just try and bring everything around. I've got two Katana Cavalries in addition to Kenshin. And then I've got Bow Monks, two Bow Samurai and two Matchlock Warrior Monks. That's interesting. The Warrior Monks are nice as well of course, but I'm trying to go for no infantry for this one. So just Cavalry and Skirmishers and see if we can pull it off. First thing to do is to bait this Yari Ashigaru out. And then we can try and get a pincer on this Boashigaru and then work away along. And then we can start bringing in the skirmishers to support the, the fight. So hopefully they go down there. Yeah, I think they are. So... We're just trying to keep that Yari Ashigaru out the fight while we work through these bows. They're not turning to face, they're scripted to stand their ground. So they're not going to come after us. They're going to hold their ground and get charged in the back. And when you get a rear charge, you get additional morale and combat factors in your favour. Look at that, no losses there on that Katana Cavalry. And now I can start skirmishing. Yeah, we're alright. But I didn't want them to... It's because I went too far away, so I need to play this safe now. I'm going to have to just take the fire from these bows there. And I'm getting those matchlocks out of the way of the Boashigaru there. And then I can have this Katana Cavalry go for the charge. Yeah, that's good. They're firing at the right unit here. Alright, so I'm just going to take that charge. And the matchlocks are going to open fire. I'll give them a clear shot. And that's exactly what we want. My lord, look! Takeda troops are at the river, crossing on our flank! Yeah, so they've formed up. And they're standing their ground. Alright, I'm moving all the skirmishers forward. And I'm going to run them down. And I'm going to back up this Katana cavalry. Yeah, we're taking losses now, but we only lost two, so that's fine. Alright, we want matchlocks formed up really well here. So I'm going to try and spread out my skirmishers because bows fire much better when they're spread out. Oh man. Get behind, get behind. And I want to bait out Shingen now. I want to get my matchlocks in position and bait out Shingen. So I'm taking a charge. Taking it. And I've got my katana cavalry on standby. And I think we're alright here. Yeah, we're going to have some nice volleys. Katana Samurai are coming. And they're holding their ground. And all my infantry are hidden. So that's good. And we should take out this Boashigaru in time. For the Katana Samurai coming. And then we can pull them into a crossfire. And I'm going to move forward. Move forward. Alright, pull out, pull out. Pull out. We don't want them to be fighting like that. And that's nice. Really nice. I'm gonna stand and fight now. Yeah, I'm gonna inspire, stand and fight. Get the Katana Cavalry involved. And I'm gonna block, just in case. Alright, pulling out, pulling out, pulling out. It's not worth the risk. Alright, stop shooting. Stop shooting. Really clean. That was not worth the risk. So I protected all my skirmishers. Cavalry are taking the aggro, nothing else. No losses yet. And this is looking clean. 
These are good charges. Why the fuck have they bunched up? Come on. Alright, this unit's taken some decent losses, that sucks. And we've baited Shengen out. Come on, form up! Form up, fuck! Come on, out the way, out the way, let them shoot, let them shoot. Let them shoot. Come on, firing squads. Firing squad. Firing fucking squad. 72. Down to 70. And they can stop shooting now. Alright, that's Shengen wrecked. So now it's just some bows. Come on, stop shooting, stop shooting. Nope, nope. So we've lost 40. Only lost 20 on each unit. So that's not bad. Not bad at all. Go Samurai, get formed up. Alright. Everything's tired now. But we've only taken really light casualties on the cavalry. Totally preserved the skirmishers. Let's get the bow monks involved here. I could have tried using whistling arrows and fire arrows. But... It's not really needed. Oh shit. Shit. Come on, pull back. Shit. So we've got two Boashigarus and a Yariashigaru. And I don't want to get I do not want to get shot at, so pulling back. Boashigaru there in the fight. They're wavering. Just don't let them shoot, it's all that matters. And they're getting charged now. Alright, whistling arrows after the fire arrows. Get the fuck out. Alright, this is looking good. Devastating fucking crossfire. Alright, just get through. Get around, get around, get around. Taking fire now. Shit. Alright, block the shooting. We take losses so quickly on the match locks, fuck's sake. Really bad. Taking nine losses. And we're shielding while giving a shot. And we're breaking them. And the standard fight is still within range, and that's it. Very nice. That was not bad at all. Gonna move forward. Using groups. Really clean. And I think they're gonna send... They're standing- oh wait, they're coming. They're coming with Yari Ashigaru, alright. We've lost... 70 horses and 10 match lockers to wipe all those units. It's not bad at all. But we're at half strength on this unit, Katana Cavalry. And we're fully mounted. And they're sending two Yaris, so I'm gonna hold my ground here and I'm gonna stand and fight again. And I think because we've preserved so many of our units so well, our only losses are on the cavalry really. That means that the balance of power, which was already I think slightly in our favour or even, it's gonna just go all the way up to the point where all these units that are left are gonna run away. So we're going to win the fight by taking out everything except, hopefully, the annoying units. Because they have Bow Cavalry, Bow Cavalry there, Yari Cavalry, which we can't really effectively deal with because we're deciding just to use Cavalry and Skirmishers. So we have to be careful. If they were to send the Yari Cavalry, I'd have to tap the side of the unit and let it get Fusil added. That would be the best way to deal with it. And do I want to stand and fight or the extra cavalry in it? Well, they're shaking because there's a unit running away right there. So I can push on them and route them. That's three Yaris and then a bow. So we can fuck these guys up like this. Yeah. And we have whistling arrows as well, which is always cool. Alright, push forward, push forward. Go thin. And these are gonna be devastating fucking... I don't have sound and fight. But we're not gonna need it. 
that's one down. And then... Here we go. Arrows overhead. Come on, shoot. Fucking shoot. Here we go. Oh, they run into it. Holy. Yeah, they're running too. Alright, get ready for the bows. Bows are right at the back. So I'm gonna push forward, I'm gonna try and avoid that train feature. And I'm gonna get ready to take out the bows. So I'm gonna go gonna go left with Kenjin. Gonna go right with the katana cavalries. And this should be brutal. Here we go. Extended range. And they're gonna shatter. Are we gonna get shot at? Oh, they're wavering. Because they're being flanked while units are shattered around them. Ah, oh, fuck. I think we just averted some losses there. But fucking hell, we just took another 10 or something. And there's Boshigaru there. And they're shattered. Alright, pulling away. Pull away. Pull away. Pull away. Pull away. Let's see if we can break them just with the lost morale. And I'm gonna reface. I'm gonna flank. So they've got a lot of units running near to them. This might pull the cavalry in. And we've protected. Oh, wait, they're wavering. Yeah, just take it. Take the charge. And I'm gonna just make them move so they don't shoot. And I could have whistled and arrowed them, but this will be enough. Yeah, that's it. And now there's bow cavalry coming. And I can bow monk them. Alright, don't shoot, don't shoot, don't shoot. I can bow monk. Yeah. Alright, pull back, pull back. Bow cavalry are a pain in the ass. They can do a lot of damage to katana cavalry, man. We don't have an effective way to deal with them. Gotta just fire arrows and... Whistling arrows and charge. They're firing at the monks. Are they? Yeah, they are. No, they're not. They're not. They're firing at the cavalry. No, yeah, they fired at the monks as well. And they're steady. And we're taking them in the fight. And there's Yari cavalry still. And Katana Cavalry, Katana Samurai. A lot of Katana Samurai left. If they sent them, we could have dealt with them really efficiently. But we're taking losses as it stands. Oh! 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 That's it. And we didn't even use the infantry, which we could have tried to. Come on, fucking shatter, fuck's sake. Yeah, they were the flankers that came around th down the mountains, down through the passes. All I've got to do now, I think, is just get within... See when this unit gets close enough, it might make them shatter. Alright, I'm going to pull forward, push forward. All we need is one unit to run and it'll chain them all. What are they doing? Yeah, there we go. I wonder if I appear from the trees, if that would have been enough. But that does it. Yep. Finally! Complete victory! What we craved is ours. The Takeda will think twice about entering Shinano. So we didn't use any infantry for that, just the three cavalry units and the five skirmishers. And we took advantage of the scripting, and that should have been a heroic victory, obviously. Obviously. Less than 100 lost, less than 100. 110 losses, yeah. And that was all the katana cavalry there, because of the kills against the bows at the start. So that's a way to fight this really scripted battle. Attack the initial army that's standing you off by taking it from the side, 
don't let it fire because it's scripted to stand its ground. And then once that army's wiped out with combined arms by defeating it bit by bit, then you can start baiting out the main army, which is by this point completely on its own. And it doesn't come at you all at once if you do what I, what I did there. It will just send units out some at a time. If you play this conventionally, this battle, you can get stuck between both armies and you can get overwhelmed. It can easily happen, but totally avoided that. So that's a unorthodox, unconventional way to fight Kawanakajima. Just like when I fought Nagashino last year, I think it's exactly a year ago. Oh yeah, do me a favour and go back and to that video, Nagashino, and click like on it because I had a lot of Russians mass dislike that video unfairly because I got involved in some bullshit feud where some guy stole my video and then kept escalating through the copyright system while simultaneously trying to browbeat me with all of his subscribers. So if you can go to that video and click like, in, ad in addition to liking this one of course, if you already did that, then I'll appreciate it so that that video can be properly represented by its stats. All right. Just thought I would upload a bonus video that I had rooted out, figured out, pathed out during my downtime. Alright, see you next time. If you appreciate the videos enough to want to support me, I have a Patreon page. Special thanks to Matteo Olivetti, Nerdington, The Roadie 451, Halcyon. William Ballangari and Robert Sparks.